This JTV Sports Update is sponsored by Right Way Family Favorites, where you can get everything you need for less. Welcome to JTV Sports Update. I am Paul on the ball. It's the last race of the day, race number seven. It's the Allen Tiger Hodge Memorial. It's a mile. Let's take you through it. In one, it's Uptown Anthem. Again, Bobo Bates with another horse. In two, Doe Maker. That's LMB Sables. And in three, Blast of Macho. That's St. Croix. A really international race for that final race of the day. Let's go straight to the gate. Gate bus and they're running. Don't make a Mr. Brick. Good start for Uptown Anthem. Blast of Macho is right there, a half length off of your leader. Running in third position is Don't Maker. It's approximately four from first to third. The Don't Maker is starting to move early. Uptown Anthem is leading the way. But the Don't Maker is showing off some very impressive early speed. So your new leader, as they exit the back stretch, is the Don't Maker. They ran the first quarter in 26. Uptown Anthem is running second one length off of it. And running in third is Blast of Macho. At the top of the turn it is the No Maker. Inside along the rail and running well is Uptown Anthem. As it prepares to pass the wire for the first time when it means nothing that is No Maker leading the way. It's an advantage of two. Blast of Macho is well out of it. They ran the half in 50 and 2. Still your leader, Don't Maker. Running in second position is Uptown Anthem. Trails by two. Blast of Macho is in it for recreational purposes. And the Don't Maker opens up by four. As they head up the back stretch, that is Brian Gonzalez and Don't Maker looking good early. Running in second, Uptown Anthem. Blast of Macho has no chance today. Ran the six in one seventeen and one. At the top of the turn, it is the Dough Maker for LMB Racing Stables. Looking good. The Dough Maker in its debut destroys the field. Butter Bread, TT Bread, Coconut Drop. The Dough Maker demolishes the field. Running second, Uptown Anthem. And third, Blast of Macho. Running time of the race is 1.46 flat. A great race by Domeka. You held him back the last race day. What's the reason for that first of all? And then tell us about the race. Well, the trainer figured he wasn't really ready to run the last race. I mean, we wanted to run him, but he did, as a trainer's guy, he figured he wasn't ready. So he took him out, he leave him out of the race. So we're here today. And it was an excellent race. We exactly that's what we wanted. Just go, the guy catch me. Hey, see you there, right? 146 today. What is your feeling about the time? The time was good. I mean, the truck is slow because it's wet. So the time was good. We, you know, it's gonna be good. It's gonna take it easy. It's gonna, everything gonna be nice in a minute. Hey, LMB is there. LMB is back. Well, that's the point. That's gonna just about LMB is most certainly back. What are the plans for Domeka? Is he gonna step up and go in the Cripple Crown? What, what, what are your plans? Well, I don't know what the call is because I say I think they were telling us that we didn't have any points, so we couldn't enter the leg. So I don't know what what will happen. I don't know. I mean, we willing to go any place, willing to do anything. We come to run our horse. That's sweet. In other words, if there was a possibility that Domeka could go into the Triple Crown for the second leg, you'd be willing to put him in? As long as he's healthy and everything is good with him, we'll be in the second or third of the legal center. Long term, is there anything you're looking at? Maybe Apollo Sky or St. Moose, one-on-one? Line them up. 
Line them up. <laughs> so like I said, line them up. Okay, thanks a lot. Congratulations. Okay. Thanks again. We'll deal with them. Okay. Well, you heard it from the man himself. He says to line them up. Don't make her. Looks like the horse to watch. LMB is the word. They are back. For JTV Sports, I am Paul Nabal. Thanks for watching.